Hi, I'm Dave Pullen from the Home Heating Association. I'd like to talk to you um, about good wood, uh, which is dry wood or season wood, as we say in the trade. So, good wood um, can be a number of woods. It can be a hardwood uh, like blue gum, it can be a softwood like pine. Uh, but it all falls under the same look uh, when you're looking to see if you've got good wood. So, I'd like to show you um, this piece here. This is a bit of uh, um, redwood that's been cut uh, probably for about three years and it's got nice radial cuts and, and splits coming into the end of it that's very light. Now this piece here, this is a piece of oak and this has only been cut over the last two or three weeks and you'll see that it has none of those radial um, cracks appearing in it and it's actually very heavy. So if we had picked this piece of redwood up three years ago, the two would weigh about the same weight. And if I take a moisture meter and press it in, it will come up to about 29 to 30% moisture content. And then if I take it over to this one, maybe go back to zero, it will come up to eight or nine. Now that's very low. Our ideal moisture content is around about 15. So if you have a moisture meter, you can do this. Um, otherwise, you can check the weight. You can check the ends to see if it's cracking. And if you've stored the wood outside under cover but plenty of air, this will happen over two or three years for hardwood. For softwood like pine, it will happen probably over one year. And the other little trick is very good dry kindling. You can hear that ring. That's bought kindling, but if you have kindling at home and you split yourself, make sure it's dry like that before you use it. Now if you want to know more, go onto the Tasman website and they'll link you to all sorts of other things we have done.